Mug game, what's this boy down? We back in the stay with a new video. We got PNB Rob. Robbed and killed after girlfriend posted location to Instagram. First and foremost, long live PNB Rob. That situation is random, it's crazy, it's uncalled for, you know, and I feel like everybody's focused on the wrong shit. I feel like people are focused on, you know, the girlfriend posting the location, you know, the Instagram, everybody trying to blame the girlfriend and stuff, you know, but why not blame, you know, the people who actually killed him and robbed him? You know, I feel like that would make more sense. You know, I understand you know, people make mistakes, you know, and I feel like people are vulnerable and people are, you know, it's 2022, you know, social media kind of runs the world. So people are going to, you know, make their posts without kind of thinking in a way, you know, so I'm not going to be too quick to blame, you know, her. She could have, you know, been thinking smarter. Yes, but in a sense, it's like people still robbed and killed them for jewelry. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, for just a chain or a watch or whatever the case may be. You know, like when I'm thinking about it, they gonna go pawn the jewelry or something like that and not even get like the total worth, you know what I mean, out of the jewelry. So it's like you really just killed the man, killed the star, killed the father, you know, killed a uh, brother, you know, killed a human being for nothing, you know, at the end of the day. But look, that's all I got to say about it. I feel like people just focused on the wrong shit. Like, yeah, you can be like, oh, she could have been thinking smarty, yeah, but at the end of the day, like whoever just killed dude, you know what I mean, and robbed him for nothing at the end of the day, cause I'm changing them watches is really nothing. At the end of the day, you still gonna be a bitch. At the end of the day, you still, you know, gonna be lame as hell. You feel me? No matter if you get a million dollars for that chain, no matter if you get two million dollars for that chain, like you still gonna be who you are at the end of the day. You know, that's just how I feel about it. But uh, long live the PNB. You know, uh, that's just crazy as hell. It's all straight and two. Let's get it cracking. Shut up, bitch. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this All video, right. we're going to be speaking on Close Philly rapper PMB Rock getting gunned down in Los Angeles after being robbed for his jewelry. September 12th, 2022, the Los Angeles Police Department would receive a call at 126 in the, the afternoon man. reporting a person had been shot at the Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. The restaurant was located at the intersection of Manchester Ave and Main Street with a reputation of being one of the deadliest of several Roscoe locations as it was centered around multiple gangs Oops, I did not mean to do that, brother. and gang sets such as the Main Street Mafia Crips, Mad Swan Bloods, 87 Gangster Crips, and Man. the Hoovers. And that's another thing though. You feel me? So everybody want to point the finger at her, but it's like they already in a fucked up location, bro. And if you out there flossing, I'm not saying he was out there flossing, but if you out there, you know, you got your shit on, all it takes is for one person to see you, you know what I mean? And just make a call, bro. Oh, I seen cuz, you feel me, with his jewelry on, yada, yada. And then, you know, the whole hood know. You feel me? And then it is what it is after that. Like, shit just crazy. Shit could have went so many ways and everybody just want to be like, oh, she posted the location. You know what I mean? Like, if it... The Hoover's deadly reputation has been circulating after rumors linked the LA gang to the recent shooting of Quando Rondo, who cut ties with the Rolling 60s Crips after his friend was executed in front of him. The Hoover's hands are also stained with the blood of Pop Smoke after a 15-year-old member was identified as the shooter. With all that being well known to LA natives, those from LA knew how deadly that restaurant was. 11 minutes after 911 was called, police responded to the scene advising a male victim had been shot multiple times in the chest. It was further advised he was still breathing and still conscious as an ambulance was en route. Four minutes later, police would advise over the radio they were looking for a suspect wearing a purple mask, last seen running eastbound from the location. The victim would be rushed to a nearby hospital and only 33 minutes after the initial 911 call, the victim was pronounced dead. A graphic video would make its way to social media showing Philly rapper PMB Rock laying face down in a pool now of That's another thing, that shit was chilling. Like, how can you be watching somebody lose their life? Like, the last bit of life, leave somebody's, you know, physical, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like, they so really leaving their body in a way, and you could just pull out your phone and record it, bro, and then post it. I should slap the shit out of you. I know. His own blood inside of the restaurant as those nearby stood shocked and panicked. 
Rock's last post to Instagram would show him riding in a vehicle as his girlfriend drove, and a screenshot of his girlfriend's Instagram would show she had taken a picture inside of the Roscoe. And a screenshot to Instagram would show him riding in a vehicle as his girlfriend drove. And a screenshot of his girlfriend's Instagram would show she had taken a picture inside of the Roscoe's restaurant, even going as far as tagging the Roscoe's location. She'd delete the post soon after. Witness reports would claim a man walked into the restaurant, immediately approaching Rock before a verbal altercation ensued. It said the man was demanding the rapper's jewelry, and when his demands weren't met, he opened fire. But even after shooting, hey, okay, bro, you put that shit, you put that fire on me, type shit. Hey, cuz you got it. whatever you want. You want the shorty too? <laughs> I don't lie. You can have a brother. You know what I mean? Like, ain't gonna be no argument, bro. If I don't give a fuck, if I got a whole billion dollars with the jewelry around my neck, nigga, shit, you can have it. You got Shooting it. Rock in front of an entire restaurant, the suspect still took the time to remove Rock's jewelry before running outside and getting into a dark colored getaway vehicle that had been waiting for him in the parking lot. Within the graphic video, you can see Rock wearing the same shirt he's seen with in his last Instagram post, but his chains, the watch on his right wrist, and his ring are all missing. The 30 year old rapper, born Rakeem Allen, will be publicly pronounced dead hours later as celebrities and fans mourned and expressed how unnecessary It's bold as hell to walk up and shoot somebody broad daylight, you feel me, or Roscoe's in the, in the restaurant, like in the restaurant, not even waiting to do leave, catch him, try to, you know, do somebody leave, nah, you walked in the restaurant, got busy, bro. Sorry, wow. his death was. Many have taken to blaming his girlfriend for dropping his location, while others understand the call could have been made from anyone that recognized either of them in the restaurant. In such close proximity to multiple gangs, it would have taken a matter of minutes for two men to get in the car, pull up, and commit the brazen murder robbery before escaping just as fast as they came. In an interview with DJ Academics, PNB Rock would detail a past incident in which he was pressed by LA gang members. Rock would express not needing security because of his upbringing, in which he feels aware enough to move around, as he was once the one doing the hunting. He'd also clarify he'd never been robbed in his life. Broad day LA robberies and the new generation's careless acts of violence. The interview would carry an eerie essence as the conversation would become PNB Rock's exact cause of death, showing no matter how aware or prepared you think you are, you never know who will fall victim next, including yourself. That's facts, bro. Rock was born in the German town neighborhood of Philly and would feel the effects of the hood as young as three years old when his own father was murdered. By 13 years old, he'd find himself in a youth detention program for committing robberies and fighting in school. And by 19, he'd be sentenced to just under three years in prison. Rock would leave prison only to become homeless before becoming a father to a little girl at 21. Paying homage to his hood, Rock added PNB to his name, which stood for Pastorius and Baton, the street corner he grew up on. Philly's district mm, attorney would recently shit. named the PNB gang as facing a possible future indictment as the city is targeting gangs in an attempt to combat the rising murder rate. Uh, they busy like that. I ain't know that shit. <laughs> Hold on, I ain't know it's getting busy like that. 400 dead in nine months in Philly. Rock was able to escape the city's bloodshed, moving to LA to further his music career, and having a second daughter with his girlfriend, who was with him at the time of his death. There have been no suspects named so far, as the realization sets in throughout the hip hop community that another young man who beat the odds was tragically gunned down. Now, this is such a senseless man, death, crazy. and to hear that LA strikes again. I mean, from my understanding with the taxes and everything else, everybody's trying to move out of California. You know what I'm saying? At least anybody with some money. For me, when I was younger, I looked at Robin like, oh, that's gangster. Like, yeah, we taking that from him. We took that from him. We did this, we did that, whatever, whatever. I feel him. Now, I look at it for what it is. It's some bum shit. Yeah, it's some PNB shit. Rock was killed. 
I definitely feel them though. Back in the day, it was like, yeah, hey, you know, took that shit off that pussy ass nigga. Some shit like that, but now it's like, nah, you a pussy ass, bum ass, broke ass nigga, bro. You know what I mean? Just go get that shit. Go hustle and go get that shit yourself. You know what I mean? Like, there's enough out here for everybody. You know what I mean? Type like shit. So I feel them on that shit. You know, you just look at, now we're just looking at you like you broke bum, like scum of the earth type shit. Because some broke motherfucker in LA wants to pawn his jewelry. They're not gonna keep it, they're not gonna wear it, and after killing them, they're damn sure not gonna make a video saying, hey, I got your chain, come buy it back. They're gonna try to sell it. And they're not gonna get shit for it. For like $5,000. The ones responsible for Pop Smoke's death. You know, one of them basically admitted to what happened, said the 15 year old is the one that shot him, said he was mad at the 15 year old for doing it, and the details came out that Pop Smoke was shot with a 9mm Beretta and the Rolex watch that was taken from him, a bust down Roly, which could have been anywhere from twenty dollars to $30,000 when Pop Smoke bought it, was sold for only $2,000. So you got a group of kids, I think it was maybe four or five people that did it, and all y'all got out of killing Pop Smoke was selling a fucking Rolex for $2,000 and splitting it four or five ways. With my own case and the case that sent me to prison and the fact that I'm now making legal money, I've learned a new appreciation for people that work for what they have. Because now I appreciate what I have and what I've worked for so in a sad. different way that I didn't before. Because when I was younger, I had nothing. And that's why these rappers and successful people need to avoid the areas where people have nothing. Because over there, life is meaningless. Yeah, take it's that fucking shit. cheap. Uh, that's yeah. why it gets snatched so fucking. That's why I ain't going. Like I said, them niggas is bummy. Like, you feel me? Broke ass, like scum of the earth type of, you know, individuals. But you feel me for doing that shit. But at the end of the day, you got to still, I ain't going to say hair and mouth or understand, but. Like, them niggas come from nothing. So, like, them areas, though, kids like that, they come from nothing. They have nothing. So they know no better. They know nothing. They don't have no opportunity, you know, or they don't think they... They do have opportunity, but they don't think they have opportunity because they never stepped outside their hood to really see the opportunities, you know? All, all, the only opportunity they see is the opportunity, you know, on the internet or on TV, and they think this shit figured. They think this shit is a facade. They think this shit is not obtainable in a way, you know? But other than that, they don't got no other real dreams or hopes, you feel me? No other ways to, you know, really get it, so... You feel me? They gotta resort to what they resort to. So, you know, I ain't gonna say I understand it or I, I'm hearing them out, but in a way, you gotta, like, you know, look at it from another perspective in a way, you know, to be real. But it's still fucked up, like I said. I still call them what I call them. Like, they broke bums. Like, you feel me? That's just still foul to kill a man over just some jewelry. Like, that's just foul and sick. And fast. In you know? LA, it isn't even in just the hoods. The crimes have come over to the nicest parts of LA. Beverly Hills, fucking Pots. Rodeo mm -hmm. Drive. You got people that make millions of dollars doing whatever, whatever, you know, jewelry owners, actors, fucking whatever it is, right? Eating lunch outside and masked gunmen are walking up, taking the Richard Mills off their wrist, doing whatever. That's how hungry they are where they're from. They're fucking starving to the point that they gotta go in other neighborhoods and fuck those neighborhoods up because they need to eat. And there's not even logic behind what they're doing. It isn't like it's a hustle, like scamming or something else where you just keep making money. These dudes are doing this shit, getting booked, getting taken off the street forever, or they're doing it, getting away with it, but the money that they're making at the end of the day isn't even enough to get out of the hood. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And you know, even for me, situations like this makes me self-reflect on some of the things that I do. When it's me that goes into a certain hood or where I'm wearing my chain in a certain place, it makes me not even wanna fucking wear it. Because I know that there's people out there willing to die for it and to kill over it. And it isn't worth that to me. It isn't worth losing my life and the years that I can spend with my daughter and my family, it isn't worth that to me. And I've got other yeah. valuables, I've got other things that mean the most to me, but this is just what I show y'all. This is just what 
people see. I'm not going to tell y'all if I'm mm-hmm. buying houses. I'm not going to tell y'all if I'm buying cars or buying anything else. I keep my personal shit. I fuck personal with bro. Private. Who this nigga I'm like is, bro? Supposed to. And like I said, it's only real. A trophy. I fuck with him. If you know the value of diamonds, what you paid for isn't what you're going to sell it for. You can go and buy a fucking $500,000 chain. You're not going to be able to sell mm-hmm. it for $500,000. That's what I was just saying earlier. This is something that you were. Hell yeah, nigga. But none of this shit's worth dying over. And to see another no. rapper that beat the odds, that made it out, that left prison, homeless, same shit with me. Got out of prison. I was 20. He was 19. I was homeless. He was homeless. We went home uh, without a home to go uh, to. Excuse me. He made it out. I ain't made a burp on face. And he had to die on camera. And with that being said, it's I crazy. hope y'all watching this video can really see the bigger picture. But hey, it's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rock. Speaking of uh, dying on camera, Roscoe's, don't they got cameras inside the actual restaurant, right? You know I, mean? I know dude was masked up and shit, but I don't know if that would help. Like the cameras actually inside the restaurant. Like there had to be cameras like all around, like outside the restaurant and the restaurant. Like I don't motherfucking know, but that shit's still crazy, bro. RP to PNB Rock. We been here long enough. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. If you're new to my channel, please hit that sub button. Give me the 500 k says ASAP and smash that like button. But what I'd rather do is avoid down and buy. Check out one love piece out. Yeah.